Hi travelers, so today we are getting ready to head out on a cruise, just the two of us, so Ships and Giggles family minus two, um, and we realized we had to go through all of our snorkel equipment and thought it would be a good uh, time to show you the equipment that we carry with us, uh, including some of the kids' equipment, but uh, we even broke a pair of goggles on the last, so we actually need to probably replace a couple of things. And before we do that, let me introduce Matt, the other part of Ships and Giggles family that you guys haven't met yet. Yeah, nice to meet everybody. Looking forward to uh, traveling with you guys. And with that, we will move on to show you our equipment. So I thought first we would jump off with some discussion of the masks. Mm. That's a good important part for sure. So on our last cruise, we um, I think we had another one of these that was clear or white on mm -hmm. the frame uh, and we dropped it and it broke. Mm -hmm. So um, these are actually called, we looked back in our old Amazon cart and it told us these are called the Cressy Pano 4s. Um, and they do have the tempered glass, they have the silicone, I think these are the ones that you usually wear. Mm -hmm. um, I know I've worn them a couple of times too. Um, they're good. They, they seal out the water, but in my experience, they always hurt. Like, mm. right here on my forehead after I wore them for a while, but did they do better for you? The viewing was really nice when you're underwater, right? You can see your peripherals, so you can be watching for sharks or, or whatever if you're on a large reef. Um, you know, to the same extent that Keely had, you know, it would push against my forehead here. Um, I'm actually not a fan of the framed... Uh, um, Goggles, I like the frameless ones a little bit better. Um, you know, Keely said I dropped them. Uh, my bad. And, you know, we're in the middle of a snorkel trip uh, out on a catamaran. We only had one pair of goggles for me, and it cracked and started leaking in once we got, you know, under five foot of water, get any kind of pressure on the goggles, and they started leaking. So it, it really ruined the trip for me. Um, that's when we learned always have a backup plan. <laughs> you always want to have multiple goggles in your bag when you're out traveling. It's one of those things that you just, you can't be without, right? You can't go underwater without the goggles. You're not going to enjoy it. You're not going to be able to look and see without burning your eyes. So always have an, a spare set of goggles. Even if they're a cheaper set of goggles, uh, you know, always have that backup plan. So we did have extra backups in the room, um, just not with us on the boat that day. So Matt borrowed the ones from the snorkel guide for the day, um, but then that next day, we kind of all switched around goggles. So this was, the, these are the Cressy F1 clears and they were mine. Mm. Um, and then Matt took them over. <laughs> pretty awesome. <laughs> because um, I can actually still wear the kids F1. So we have, what, five pairs of the kids size? Do you shop at Baby Gap? <laughs> she still shops at Baby Gap. <laughs> so um, I think these are everybody's favorite. They, they really are. Uh, I, you know, for me, wearing a beard, the silicone is a lot um, a lot more grippy on the frameless version. Um, and if you break it, it's, or if you drop it, it's the tempered glass. So you're not going to you're not going to ruin it um, as fast. Whereas if I drop this and crack this, this piece, these are these are shot. Um, you know, and I really like the, the silicone uh, just because the way they grip my face. Um, you know, sometimes I'll wear a beard and they still grip around that beard. Um, you know, you're not gonna go real deep because you do have some, some facial hair, but if I haven't shaved for like 24 hours and I'm out on a cruise and I'm just kind of, you know, enjoying life, it will still grip to my face. So uh, that's why I like these. I like them just because they fit. Um, and actually I like the larger kid one, so. And the suction, the suction that goes, you know, when you put them on the suction cup, you know, it really <laughs> sticks to your face, right? Um, which is really nice. So you, you add that initial suction to them, clean them up, and they'll stick and stay even without having to, uh, you know, to put the band around it at first. So. And I guess we should probably mention the, um, the hair catchers. Ooh, so yes. the kids absolutely love these. They even put them on their, um, we call them their pool goggles, but um, they still use snorkel masks in the pool. Um, but they like them because they don't pull their hair. Um, it doesn't really bother me too much whether or not this is on there because I tend to French braid my hair or wear it just like it is right now, only twist it up in a bun. So um, it, it doesn't pull my hair so much since I wear it back, but the kids do really like it. 
So if you, if you have tender hair, you know, somebody pulls your hair um, and, and you can feel it, I would highly recommend getting these. These are, you know, made by Cressy. They have other uh, manufacturers out there, but it simply goes on and it splits the bands uh, on the inside and then it just makes it nice and easy to slip over your hair, keeps it from pulling it. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. These are my goggles and you can see that I, I wear them. Um, it's also a neat feature because it can help you um, identify people in the water because a lot of times you're swimming, you know, looking down. If you're up over the water, you can see where your kids' heads are because you can color code them. So we know, you know, blue's daddy, pink's mommy. Uh, Kinley has purple and Chloe has uh, pink. pink as well. So we, we kind of know where, you know, who's in our family. Um, so it's nice for that aspect. Next, we'll move on to the snorkels themselves. So we have several things that we picked up as sets, but we all like the same snorkel. So even if we end up with different goggles, we all go with this is the Cressy Supernova snorkel. Um, and even the kids one, this is a kids, this is Kinley's because it's purple. Um, they're supernovas for kids too. So they will actually quite often come with the F1 frameless. Uh, goggles so you can get them together as a set and they literally have a clip on the side that snaps on to hold them in their upright position yeah. we, we'll demonstrate that here real quick it's really nice and it just clips right on and now it's stuck to my 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 goggles and I can literally push a button and and take it right off and that now I can store it in my suitcase I can store it in my travel bag you know whatever I need to do but these really do a good job of um, dropping this little ball that's in there when you go underwater um, to keep the water from coming in your snorkel. And yes, you still have to clear your snorkel. It's still got the vent at the bottom to clear it, but it's nothing like trying to clear the other ones that have the like flip top lid for lack of a better explanation. And if you're traveling, you know, I think this is one of the items that you really can spend um, a few bucks on and get a good quality one, right? The last thing you want to do is dive down and there be a leak in here and you start taking in water while you're 12, 15 foot underwater at the bottom, right? Checking something out. The other thought of that, um, bringing your own snorkel mask it and, and uh, what are these called again? Snorkels. Snorkels, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, delete that. So the <laughs> snorkel and the mask, it, it's easy enough that you can pack in your suitcase and your, your backpack and take on, and in today's world where there's COVID and all kinds of different viruses out there, you know, the cruise ships do their best to sanitize these, um, the, 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 you know, locations that you're going to, that you're renting from do their best. But this is really a, a very inexpensive way to improve your snor snorkel experience, even if you're going to uh, rent fins from somebody else or maybe the, the life vest, right? We highly recommend, you know, Keely and I and the kids, we always take our own snorkels and, and masks uh, with us no matter where we go. We have rented fins in the past, but this is one of those things that it really, you really need good quality equipment if you want to have a, an enjoyable day, so. And, and then you're not tasting bleach or mouthwash or whatever else they've used to clean the snorkels as well. Exactly. So I think that leads us into fins, which we just explained mm -hmm. um, is the one thing that we will kind of borrow from other places very willingly because they're not so fun to pack. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. That's definitely one of our uh, considerations is packability. Mm -hmm. So I actually use the cheapo fins, um, the US diver ones. So they're short, they are adjustable, so actually the kids can use them as a backup even if we needed to. But um, Matt had initially ordered these for me, which are the nice crusty ones, but we practice with everything in the pool before we take it with us on vacation. Mm -hmm. And I have some ankle issues, but when I use certain, um, you know, roller skates or anything that goes on my feet, I tend to get like pain right in the arch of my foot. And these don't cause that so that's why I prefer these um, obviously they don't push as much water as the longer ones so if we're in currents but I'm a very strong swimmer so we don't really worry about that so much either um, and then Matt actually likes the men's version of those yeah so I wear the uh, the larger Cressy Cressy I feel like I wear a Cressy commercial um, <laughs> you know I, I do to be fair there are a couple really good brands out there um, highly rec we've, we've done US divers I'm not really a fan of their product I feel like it's a um, it, it's okay on a budget um, if, if you you know can't afford a few dollars more but honestly if you do a little bit of research you'll find that 
you know, these Cressy fins are only maybe like $10 more than what the U.S. divers are. And I do want to talk about um, the propulsion. They have the, um, the slit here in the front so that if you get sand in here, it, it flows through freely. A little bit longer fin. It, the fin itself is made of a tough plastic. You can hear me clicking on it. But then it has all these soft ridge, ridge pieces here, right? Um, and it's all really good quality rubber um, slash silicone. It's got grip made on the bottom. Um, Cressy is an Italian based company and I have long narrow feet where Keely has a little bit wider foot so she uses the US Diver. Uh, I have more of a narrow foot so this fits me very very well um, and it's one of those things that you know you just don't want to get blisters on you want to make sure you got a nice tight fit um, you don't want these to be loose you want them to be on there real 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 snug so that you don't rub blisters on your feet and um, so I'm, I'm a huge fan of their product and um, we also have little aqua socks that kind of help like yes. it'll help bridge the gap for the kids so that when they were kind of in between sizes they wore those for a while and then when their foot got bigger they stopped wearing the socks sometimes I wear the socks if I know we're gonna be in the water for a while just to prevent blisters because yeah constant flipping can can cause that um. the other piece of it is the adjustable factor I don't like the adjustable um, I had a set of US divers that when we were training the kids in the pool and teaching them uh, the buckle started to come undone right and so I decided to go with a fixed foot um, simply because when you're in the ocean um, you don't have all that extra gear with you so if you have a flip uh, you know a fin that breaks you, you're your, your trip is impacted. You're not going to have as good a time, right? Because you're not going to be able to go through and do everything or, or you're not going to be able to stay with the currents. Um, so I elected for a full boot. I highly recommend once your feet, um, you know what size you need um, to go with a fixed boot if you possibly can, um, you know, versus doing the buckle system. The bus, buckle systems are potential failure points. We do have a couple of mares. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. sets of fins. I had trouble finding ones that fit my feet. Um, they all seem to come pretty large, um, so they definitely didn't see those in kid sizes either. Mm -hmm. um, did, did you try the Mares? Um, I didn't try the Mares, but Mares is a very popular brand. So uh, people that transition from snorkeling to scuba, they typically buy into the Mares product line. Mares makes a lot of different products for that, that scuba world. Um, so they are a world-renowned brand. Um, if you're not using Cressy, Mares is another good replacement. I think Cressy is probably a little bit more readily available than some of the Mares product um, and a little bit cheaper price point. So I, I look at Mares as being a, a more expensive product. So. And then I think our last thing to come to is the lovely scuba diving vest, which Ooh. you can easily borrow from your snorkel group if you're going with another group. But there's, they pack so tiny and you have to put your mouth on that thing to blow them up. It, yeah. It's one of those things that's super easy to pack. So this I think is actually max and we can tell because they are weight based. Um, there's a difference in sizes. I'm going to give the uh, air. Are we all supposed to the remain airplane? seated? Remain until... seated and calm. <laughs> if you happen to experience the plane going down. So this one's pretty simple. Um, you really, you put it on while you're, you're swimming. Um, deflated is the easiest way to do it if you wanna be able to dive down. Um, so when we get into the ocean at, at first though, we'll, we'll standardize on making our kids uh, have a little bit of air in this, right? Because we don't know if there's gonna be undertow, we don't know if there's gonna be current. We wanna make sure that they have some buoyancy. And it's really simple, right? So you literally blow in here. You depress this little thing with your mouth. And now I've got a complete flotation device. So if I get tired, gassed, I can roll over on my back and sit there and float if I need to. One thing to note is that it will not let you go down. Um, so if you want to swim to the bottom, you need to make sure that this is not inflated. Um, if you want to let air out, you simply pull down on this little actuator. I'll see if you can get it in the picture. You can hear it. Had to squeeze it there, that way we get the full effect. But you, you get the picture. Um, these are relatively inexpensive. They come in all different sizes um, and easily packable to Keeley's point. So highly recommend uh, picking these up. Anything you have to put your mouth on is a is a good thing. Uh, not that we're germaphobes or anything. Mm -hmm. Just a bit. Just a little bit. Um, the other thing is these are not Coast Guard certified life jackets. So they're Correct. just assistance devices when you're snorkeling. Um, but it's also good to have a super bright color. The girls and I realized there's actually pink ones out there. Uh -oh. Just so you know. We noticed I'm buying that pink yesterday. Ones this year. Um, but 
there are other colors, but to choose a bright color. Um, I don't recommend blue or green. That's mm -hmm. going to match you into the ocean yeah. um, if you're going out with those. But other than that, I think the biggest tool, which we do not have in front of us, is baby soap. Uh, listen, baby soap or anti-fog is, is really... People say spit, and, and we're talking about cleaning the goggles, right? Um, people clean their goggles with spit, and it, it lasts for a second, but probably baby shampoo and uh, or anti-fog are your best friends. So I think what, that's... What, how, do we, how do we do the, uh, the shampoo? Uh, what, what do we use it for? So you drop it inside the, the goggle, mm -hmm. um, just a drop, dot on each side, rub it around, yeah. and give it one quick rinse. You don't want to rinse it completely off, and it will prevent your fogging for at least 30 minutes yeah. under the water. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a great tip. And actually doing my research yesterday, I learned some people use toothpaste, but I'm afraid that would scratch the, the glass of your goggles mm -hmm. if you did that too many times. Yeah, I would think so. Um, it, like, depending on what kind, if it has gritty or whatever. We just got, like, Johnson & Johnson's baby travel shampoo. You know, you can pick it up at Walmart, Walgreens, any of those places. The travel piece, right, because if you're flying, you can still fit it in your uh, in your travel bag. And that's really all you need. Um, in fact, you could probably get away with, you know, a much smaller version for the week. But uh, it's always good to pack one of those. And then, uh, you know, it comes in handy in case you get stranded on an island somewhere and you need to wash. You can do baby <laughs> shampoo. Thanks and have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Happy sailing. Take care.